Hi everyone and thank you for joining me. So over the summer I have been hiking a lot and I've been nature journaling more again. I've also done a plein air landscape sketching but this will come in another video. I will give you a sketchbook tour but today I want to give you a sketchbook tour of my nature journal and these are entries that I did either on my hikes or dear, uh, or after my um, time outside, so when I was back at home. And usually I've been recapping my hikes through sketching afterwards. So hiking and sketching at the same time is always a challenge, especially uh, when you don't want to make anyone else wait. So I guess my first priority, priority was enjoying nature, getting a break from everything that's going on. Uh, getting fit again, <laughs> you know, I haven't been on a hike in months. I just wanted to, to walk around, I wanted to hike. And so usually uh, what I would do um, while I was outside, I would take a few notes or make a few small gestural sketches and then take a reference photos um, from every angle that I could and then finish the rest at home while my memory was still vivid. Yeah, while we're on the topic, I'd love to know what you do if you go out with others, if you make them stop, uh, if you have tolerant uh, hiking partners or if you just wait until you're back at home and then finish up your sketches. Or maybe you even go outside alone. This is what I often do when I know I want to sketch. Um, then I go out by myself and then I have all the time in the world because I'm not making anyone wait. So yeah, on to the sketchbook tour. I hope you'll enjoy it. Uh, I still like this landscape format for my nature journal. So uh, I made another one in A5, just like the, fir the first one that I did. Uh, it's, it's not as flexible as a um, sketchbook in this format, in portrait format. But I really, I really like being able to make these uh, huge panoramic landscapes. So maybe because I'm uh, painting landscapes more these days. And what you can see on this page is I don't always add color to every sketch that I do. Like um, in this butterfly, you know, I have completed one half and there's no need for me to fill in the other half. I usually I leave things unfinished if I have made the statement that I wanted. So I know what this half looks like and I know that the beetle here sits on a white composite flower that I have even sketched schematic as a schematic here. So leaving things out brings focus to your other subjects, to the, the subjects in color. So also in this case, I have only painted with more detail two of these flower heads and then I have indicated the rest of them. So let's go on to the second sketchbook. And this was actually partly done on location, which is why the, draw uh, why the drawings aren't as exact as I would have wanted them. But it's, it's a journal, it's for sketching, that's okay. So one of the highlights for me this summer was this pond where we observed a kingfisher for over 10 minutes and he was perching and hunting small fish back, uh, back here actually, uh, sitting on a stone and hunting these small fish from his perch. And we waited for him to come closer, maybe to, to this shore, but he didn't come. <laughs> so there were also several species of dragonflies that I was able to see. And if you sit very still for a while, then they sort of adapt to you and they, they come closer. And uh, one of them sat down on my arm, actually, one of these red ones. And sometimes all I have time or energy for are these kind of loose sketches and then a page will look like this with more notes. Uh, in this case, I learned what kind of rock formed the, the cliffs that we climbed over. It's actually an undersea volcanic stone, diabase, maybe you've heard it. And I got a, a, another quick look at a rather large dragonfly that's pretty common here. It's sort of, the this is the standard dragonfly that you see at every pond <laughs> or at every stream that you visit. And then I also observed how bees enter this kind of pink flower uh, from the front and then they exit on the side. I, I have no idea if this is, uh, you know, made to happen like this. 
if it's if it makes a difference for pollination but i found it quite interesting so all the bees were doing uh, this they came in here at the front and then exited through this little side entry or exit i should say And then on another day I did these pages when I came back home. So this was a really long tour and I was feeling a little bit tired, but I still wanted to, to do my sketch, uh, sketches. Uh, I found a dead hornet at the side of the road and we encountered a slow worm, which is actually a lizard without feet. So it's not a snake, it's uh, related to lizards. Uh, I took a few notes about the colors, about uh, what it did. Uh, I sketched the head a little bit bigger. I hope you can see this. This is pretty light, this uh, pencil drawing. And uh, I also included landscapes here and there. So <laughs> this is something that I like to do, maybe because I'm doing a lot of landscape painting these days. On this hike, I got to know a new plant species that I hadn't encountered before. And um, then here's an admiral. This is what these butterflies are, are called. And um, yeah, these guys obviously love thistles. So there are a lot of different butterflies uh, feeding on these uh, thistle flowers. So this is uh, really lovely. And afterwards, after our hike, we uh, we visited a an old abbey, a Romanic abbey, and I sketched a few uh, architectural details. So I think although this uh, sketchbook, this nature journal is, is supposed to be about nature, I find these other kind of more cultural observations, they also fit in. So they also have a place in this. What else do we have here? Yes, this was another, another day outside and this time I focused on the butterfly species that I saw. Actually, these two guys are um, quite rare or I, at least I haven't seen them in a while. So this is actually uh, a variation of a fritillary, if I can believe the dictionary that tells me what these are called in English. So this is a really beautiful big butterfly that's not that common and this variation of the female one is even less common. So I was very excited when I saw this. And then here we have another one that I didn't even find a translation for but the, the, the German name is a Landkärtchen which means little map. So all of these veins that you can see here, these light veins are um, reminding have reminded the people who named this one of a map so i think it's a very fitting name and there are two different looking variations of this one and this is the summer variation so this was a really uh, exciting and, and again they're sitting on thistles so what else <laughs> so this was a really exciting hike for me and then when i came back home the other day i uh, started sketching the sparrows on my balcony uh, they are sometimes when they're around the feeder they they are really aggressive and they obviously think that they need to save this um food supply in the feeder all for themselves. So they are picking each other and threatening each other and a minute later they are sitting side by side and um, just eating their food. Here we have another page of recent hikes and on this one we encountered an ostrich farm that uh, was really interesting and really unexpected. So uh, we were supposed to walk through this um, little this valley with this uh, lovely stream and, and right at the start I saw these ostriches. Really weird birds, really unexpected on that trip. And this is from another hike. So I saw a few interesting insects, another dragonfly and then these interesting uh, rock formations in a pond and around this pond everywhere were these rock formations. I also saw a bird and this is from another recent hike. So this is not yet finished. I want to add a second page with the birds that I saw. Uh, this was a really lovely tour. Uh, I saw lots of different plants, different trees. Um, yeah, another slow worm and then a big wild bee that I hadn't seen before and that I now know the name of. 
uh, butterflies, a lot of different things. And I want to complete the second side with the different birds that I saw. So right now I'm really enjoying making these records of my local adventures, even if they're not particularly special or breathtaking landscapes or out of the ordinary locations. But I actually really love the diversity of my local countryside here in Germany. And um, yeah, I, I feel at home here. I, I love the things that I see. I love to learn more about this. And when I look back at these sketchbooks, and by now I have a lot of them, then I find I treasure these memories of these familiar looking places in the woods, uh, especially since they are disappearing bit by bit due to our dry summers. And there's still a lot of interesting nature finds all around you if you look closely. There's always something to observe and to learn right where you are. And in a way, I even prefer these locations to exotic places in other countries so if I recall my vacations, then I was often too stressed to really enjoy my surroundings and to really uh, just sit outside and sketch. There was so much to do, so many sites to, to look at. So sketching like this helps to lock these places in my memory. And I find that whenever I leave through my journals, then I have very, very vivid memories of these days in nature. So this is something that I really love. Um, yeah, overall, I hope you've enjoyed this sketchbook tour. I hope you found this somehow useful. I'd love to, to hear what you've been sketching recently, what you've been doing, what you've been up to. And if you enjoyed this, then give it a like, consider subscribing to my channel so that you will get notified about updates. And so thank you for watching. I'll see you very soon. And until then, happy nature sketching.